but first. You need to know that. Hearing impairment, deafness, or hearing disorder refers to the overall or partial inability to listen to sounds. Symptoms is also mild, moderate, severe, or profound. A patient with a light handicap may have problems understanding speech, especially if there's plenty of noise around, while those with moderate deafness might have a hearing aid. Some people are severely deaf and depend upon lip reading to speak with others. Those who are unhearing can hear nothing the least bit and might find themselves totally reliant on lip reading or signing. Causes Some diseases or circumstances which will cause deafness include Chicken pox Cytomegalovirus Mumps Meningitis Sickle cell disease Syphilis Lyme disease Diabetes Hypothyroidism Arthritis Some cancers Teenagers exposed to second-hand smoke Hearing loss versus deafness it is important to tell apart between the various levels of hearing impairment. Hearing loss, this is often a reduced ability to listen to sounds within the same way as people. Deafness, this happens when someone cannot understand speech through hearing, even when sound is amplified. Profound deafness, this refers to a complete lack of hearing. A person or with profound deafness is unable to detect sound in the least. How does hearing work? Sound waves enter the ear, move down the ear or auditory meters, and hit the eardrum, which vibrates. The vibrations from the eardrum pass to a few bones called the ossicles within the middle ear. These ossicles amplify the vibrations, which are then picked up by small hair-like cells within the cochlea. These move because the vibrations hit them, and also the movement data is distributed through the nervous vestibulocochlearis to the brain. The brain processes the info, which an individual with functional hearing will interpret as sound. Types of hearing loss Conductive hearing loss Sensorineural hearing loss Mixed hearing loss Conductive hearing loss this means that the vibrations don't seem to be passing through from the external organ to the sensory receptor, specifically the cochlea. This sort can occur for several reasons, including an excessive buildup of earwax, blue ear, an ear infection with inflammation and fluid buildup, a perforated eardrum, a moringa malfunction of the ossicles, a defective eardrum, 2. Sensorineural hearing loss is caused by dysfunction of the sense organ, the cochlea, eighth cranial nerve, or brain damage. This kind of hearing impairment is generally because of damaged hair cells within the cochlea. As humans get older, hair cells lose a number of their function, and hearing deteriorates. Long-term exposure to loud noises, especially high-frequency sounds, is another common reason for epithelial cell damage. Damaged hair cells cannot be replaced. Sensorineural total deafness may occur as a result of congenital deformities, sense organ infections, or head trauma. 3. Mixed hearing loss. This is a mixture of conductive and sensorineural deafness. Long-term ear infections can damage both the eardrum and also the ossicles. Sometimes, surgical intervention may restore hearing, but it's not always effective. Deafness and speech Prelingual deafness This is an inability to totally or partially hear before learning the way to utter or understand speech. If children with prelingual deafness are given cochlear implants before the age of 4 years, they'll acquire oral language successfully. Postlingual deafness. Most people with deafness have postlingual deafness. They acquired voice communication before their hearing was diminished. A drug side effect, trauma, infection, or disease may have caused losing their sense of hearing. Unilateral and bilateral deafness refers to disability in exactly one ear, while bilateral deafness is disability in both. People with a unilateral disability may find it hard to hold on a conversation if the opposite person is on their affected side. Pinpointing the source of a sound could also be tougher, 
in comparison with people who can hear well in both ears. Understanding what others are saying when there's plenty of environmental noise may be hard. With little to no background signal, someone with unilateral deafness has virtually the identical communicative abilities as an individual with functional hearing in both ears. Babies born with unilateral deafness tend to own developmental speech delays. Symptoms The symptoms of disability rely on its cause. Some people are born without having the ability to listen to, while others suddenly become deaf thanks to an accident or illness. For many people, symptoms of deafness progress gradually over time. Some conditions may have hearing disorder as an indication, like tinnitus or stroke. Hearing impairment in infants. The following signs may indicate a hearing problem. Before the age of four months, the baby doesn't turn their head toward a noise. By the age of 12 months, the baby still has not uttered one word. The infant doesn't appear to be startled by a noise. The infant responds to you after they can see you, but respond far less or don't respond in the slightest degree once you are out of sight and call out their name. The infant only seems to remember of certain sounds. Hearing impairment in toddlers and kids. These signs might become more evident in slightly older children. The child is behind others the identical age in speech. The child keeps saying what, or pardon. The child talks during a very loud voice, and tends to supply louder than normal noises. When the kid speaks, their utterances don't seem to be clear. Four levels of deafness. There are four levels of deafness or disability. These are Mild hearing impairment. The person can only detect sounds between 25 and 29 decibels, dB. They'll find it hard to understand the words people are saying, especially if there's lots of background noises. Moderate hearing impairment, the person can detect sounds between 40 to 69 dB. Following a conversation using hearing alone is incredibly difficult without employing a hearing aid. Severe deafness. The person only hears sounds more than 70 to 89 dB. A severely individual must either lip read or use signing so on speak, whether or not they have a hearing aid. Profound deafness. Anybody who cannot hear a sound under 90 dB has profound deafness. Some people with profound deafness cannot hear anything in any respect, at any decibel level. Communication is run using language, lip reading, or reading and writing. Diagnosis Patients who suspect their hearing need to go and see their doctor. The doctor will seek advice from the patient and ask several questions regarding the symptoms, including after they started, whether or not they have gotten worse, and whether the individual is feeling pain alongside the hearing loss. Treatment Help is available for people with all sorts of deafness. Treatment depends on both the cause and severity of the deafness. Sensory neural hearing disorder is incurable. When the hair cells within the cochlea are damaged, they cannot be repaired. However, various treatments and techniques can help improve quality of life. Lip reading. Also referred to as speech reading, lip reading could be a method for understanding voice communication by watching the speaker's lip, facial and tongue movements. Sign language. This is a language that uses signs made with the hands, facial expressions, and body postures, but no sounds. It's used mainly by people who are deaf. Prevention Nothing can prevent the hearing problems that occur from birth or hearing impairments thanks to illnesses or accidents. However, some measures will be taken to cut back the chance of losing a number of your sense of hearing. The structures within the ears is damaged in several alternative ways. Long-term exposure to noise above 85 dB the degree of a typical lawnmower can eventually cause deafness. The following measures may help protect your hearing. TV, radio, music players, and toys, don't set the degree too high. Children are especially sensitive to the damaging effects of loud music. Noisy toys can put children's hearing in danger. Headphones, 
target isolating the sounds you would like to listen to and blocking out the maximum amount environmental sound as is feasible, rather than drowning it out with high volume. Occupational health, if you're employed during a noisy environment, like discos, nightclubs, and pubs, wear earplugs or earmuffs. Leisure venues, if you head to pop concerts, motor racing, drag racing, and other noisy events, wear earplugs. Cotton swabs, don't prod them into adult or infant ears. The identical applies to Q-tips or tissues. Hearing can often deteriorate with age, but the danger are often reduced by taking the right protection ahead of time.